angle bisector theorem is really important in proving that the in-center of a triangle is equidistant from all three sides of the triangle. So here will be a proof of the angle bisector theorem. So first we have this angle uh, BAC. Consider its bisector. So here we have the bisector of angle A. And the angle bisector theorem says that any point on the angle bisector, any point uh, maybe P, any point P on this, on this ray, is equidistant from the sides uh, AB and AC. So here will be a proof uh, for that. So first we consider dropping perpendiculars from P to AB and AC. So we have this and this, and we aim to show that this length here, P, D, and this length here, P, E, are the same. So to do that, we're going to show that P, D is congruent to P, E first, and then we'll use the definition of congruent to say that P, D is equal to P, E. And that will work no matter where P is on this ray AP. Okay. So, first thing to notice is that uh, angle uh, D, A, P congruent to angle uh, PAE, and that's by definition of angle bisector. Also, we have AP congruent to itself, and that is by uh, the reflexive property of congruence. And also we have angle uh, PDA congruent to angle PEA, both of which are right angles. So we have angle PDA congruent to angle PEA, and this is by the right angle theorem, which gives us triangle uh, PDA congruent to triangle uh, PEA, and that's by uh, angle angle side. We have angle, angle, and then side, AP is congruent to itself. So that now we know then that PD, the segment congruent to PE, and that's by CPCTC, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, that gives us PD and PE congruent, and therefore the length PD is equal to the length PE, those distances are equal, and that's by the definition of congruent. Okay, so this is a very, very important theorem in uh, proving that the in-center of a triangle is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. So there you have it.